So, next stop on our whistle stop tour of German energy efficiency technology. We're delighted to be at the Stiefel Elgin Energy Campus here in Holzminden. We've just had a, had a tour of some of the incredible technology that Stiefel Elgin is, is rolling out here in Germany and indeed around the world. And also got a bit of a sense of some of the, uh, uh, the strategic factors that are driving the acceleration of heat pump deployment here in Germany, particularly in Europe in the face of Russian aggression. And I suppose, Carlos, that's one of the things that stood out for you, is just the acceleration of this market and the growth that's coming down the pipeline, right? I think it's incredible. We talk about the need to grow, you know, electrify the economy, electrify buildings, and in Australia it's very much a very early conversation. And it's really amazing to come to a place like this and just see really concrete signs of demand. Uh, we just heard this morning about how the amount of heat pump orders that um, that they're getting is about like five times more than it was just like two or three years ago, which is like five times. It's an enormous amount of growth in just three years. Um, and and they've seen that all across, you know, I think we're talking about skills a little bit before, like the amount of people that have been trained in this space, the amount of orders, and, and it's just really amazing to see that side. We need to see a lot of growth in demand. And it's really great to see that that is there and there's an industry that is ready to take that up. And the skills base was a bit that stood out for me. Um, just the, the, effectively the plumbing sector here in Germany uh, rapidly transitioning out of, out of gas because consumer demand for gas supplies has, has collapsed. And unsurprisingly, because traditionally here in Germany, um, gas is a lot cheaper uh, as a fuel source. It's now on parity and they're expecting it to go up above electricity. Um, and apart from anything else, getting your heat from gas in, when uh, Ukraine is just a, a, a few hundred kilometers away is not what you want to be doing as a German. So, uh, and the price might be at parity, but you need more gas to provide the same level of you know, heating yep. than you do through one of these babies, which uh, we hope to see a lot more of in the households around Australia. This is a, a domestic uh, heat pump for hot water. Uh, but one of the things I think that's inspired me the most about being here is to look at the kinds of options that might be employed, particularly in the commercial market, for retrofitting commercial buildings. So members of mine are wanting to electrify their stock. And when we talk about some of the solutions, you know, there are technical constraints about swapping away from gas boilers to heat pumps, the size of plant room that you need in the basement versus all the requirements of sort of plumbing and duct work to provide you know, hot water for people to wash their hands at taps. So I'm just going to show you really quickly what we've seen. If you Frankie follow got, us over here. Frankie got very excited. I did get very excited. <laughs> These are instantaneous uh, hot water heaters um, for tapware. So I think like, this is a real option um, if you don't want to basically have um, like the heat pump size to, to pump hot water, you know, up 50 levels of high rise. So like this is absolutely um, an option. And then I think these flat stations are super exciting to me um, because what these will allow is for you to size probably a smaller size heat pump in the basement for your central yep. heating supply. And what this does is kind of boost it. So you would put this in a tenancy, either in a bathroom or something like that. Um, so you've got like a lower sort of delta requirement in the basement. And then when you, when you sort of um, pump up the water at like 30 degrees maybe, it boosts here um, for the taps um, at the temperature that you need. And these things could be installed in apartment buildings. Mm. You know, they're, they're, they're sort of designed to be um, a shape that can sort of slot into a wall, could fit in commercial tenancies. So I think, you know, potentially there's some answers here to some of the technical challenges around retrofitting um, our commercial buildings to take them all electric. So and that's very exciting. It's so exciting. And as yeah. we've been discussing, one of the big things that the three of us really try and wrap our head about is how we electrify existing commercial buildings. And it's not necessarily that it's got to be a big heat pump in a plant room. You can think about those distributed solutions. And that's what, well, you know, is being worked on here in Germany. It's super exciting uh, to be here where the innovation is happening. And we just wanted to share some of that with you. So I hope you enjoyed this little taste of what's happening here at the Siebel Belgian Energy Campus. So stay tuned, we'll be back again in a couple of days with even more insights from Germany.